Okay, so the first thing I have to say, guys, is I apologize to the A7R4 because I have said since 2019 that it is not a worthy successor to the A7R3. It wasn't worth the price to upgrade. Um, the features, you know, the extra 20 megapixels, nobody needs that, right? I've been saying that for years. Well, we don't even need the 40 megapixels we have. I was wrong. I was completely 100% wrong, and I apologize to the Sony a7R4 for that. Now, what I want to say is, I can't hold that up and talk, it's too heavy. Um, what I want to say is this, I am finding just in the last week of use with this camera, the fact that they have added 20 megapixels to each picture that you take, and the camera is just as fast, just as responsive as the a7R3. So there was a huge upgrade in processor there, there was a, there's a new processor, uh, new chip in this camera and processor. So it's faster. Um, nobody else has come out with anything higher resolution other than medium format to this date. So this is almost the equivalent of having a medium format camera in a full frame sensor, okay? It's crazy. The amount of detail I'm getting is crazy, but the part that really is selling me that this was a worthy upgrade is the autofocus tracking. It is unbelievable. For shooting the birds, uh, you put this on flexible spot. There's a little red tracking box. You, you know, half press the shutter on your subject. And if that bird hops around from branch to branch, the camera is following it instantaneously. It is not losing it. This is a game changer for me in terms of bird shots. In terms of how easy it is to get the bird shots. I mean, I've always got the shot, but you've had to work like a dog to get that shot. This camera makes it easy. So I, I just want to say that between the autofocus tracking and the 60.2 megapixel sensor, okay? Now again, I said we don't need that. I was wrong. You know why we need that? Cropping. I'm finding that I, I could shoot full 60 megapixel images and then crop down, and it seems to me I'm hitting the sweet spot around 30 megapixels. I crop down to what I think makes a nice frame around a bird or something, and every time I'm checking, it seemed to be around 30 megapixels. Well, if you buy the 6600, that's only 24 megapixels, right? If you buy any of the 64, 65, 6600, those are not 30 megapixels. So right there, to have the option to be able to shoot 60 megapixel crop down, or with the push of a button, as I mentioned before, I put one of my custom buttons on the top, I turn it, this camera, into a 26 megapixel APS-C camera, and shoot, what happens there is you zoom in 1.5 times, so you, your, your field of view is that much closer. It, it's the same as having an APS-C camera. So if you're shooting ducks across the river, you're zoomed in a little bit more, 1.5 times closer. And that's handy for wildlife and bird photographers. And guess what? I just happen to be a wildlife and bird photographer. Why I thought this camera didn't make sense to me, I don't know. But I was wrong. And I will end this rant again by apologizing to Sony one more time. This is an awesome camera. <laughs>
those guys will clean out a feeder in a matter of hours, right? They will fight each other and they just continually, there goes the feeder in a few hours and they'll chase the birds away. So you actually don't get any birds when they're there feeding. So, but they are beautiful. I do take hundreds of pictures of them in the winter. They are, you know, worthy of photography. And so I leave them alone. So right here, we've got another red squirrel in this pine right here. He just came down. So there's two within 60 feet of each other. There's one in that pine there and there's one here. Oh, I just saw his tail going right, right up at the top there. But just in this clearing alone behind me, you know, there could be half a dozen red squirrels living around here. There probably are, easily. They're all mated and paired up. And then you throw in flying squirrels on top of that, we have a whole system here that we don't see because they're nocturnal. And apparently, According to the, to the experts, flying squirrels are as abundant as chipmunks. We just don't see them because they don't come out uh, except at night. So anytime you see a hollow tree in this forest here, and there are lots of them, if you take a stick and whack on it, the chances are a flying squirrel will come jumping out the top. I don't do that. I don't want to disturb them. But this is what they're telling us, that pretty much all of these dens are full. You know, every tree is, is a den for something. You know, you're either going to get a pine marten, a fisher, a uh, fox down in the root system, or flying squirrels, or regular squirrels. We have uh, mostly red squirrels. They're the native ones here, but we do have the big gray ones and the black ones, which are European squirrels. They were introduced. They're, they're an invasive species. There's not as many of those around, but they're, they're bullies. They're like three times the size of our little red squirrels. And... Uh, if they get on a feeder or something like that, they'll actually drive the red squirrels out. All right, so that red squirrel did come down just low enough for me to get a picture. It's not a great photo. I'll put it on the screen anyway to show you guys. Uh, he was more interested. Gage was at the bottom of the tree looking up, and he was more interested in Gage, so he's looking down at Gage. But I have taken for granted my entire life photographing squirrels. And you guys know I've got some beautiful squirrel photographs. And I'm always like, ah, it's just a squirrel. Move on. Let's find something better. Until I watched Morton Hilmer's video. And he was so excited, so ecstatic for the opportunity to photograph one squirrel. You know, he spent hours, he spent days in this blind looking, waiting for this squirrel. Putting out nuts for it, you know. Um, and that kind of made me realize I'm taking for granted you know, the abundance that I have here in my Canadian backyard because the squirrels here, guys. Oh, oh, we got our first chickadee. Right here, buddy. <laughs> I do have seeds right here. Let me just get some seeds, put them in my hand. Here he comes. There he is. Look at that. <laughs> and that's all it takes. We just got to get the first one here to tell all his buddies. Hey, there's seeds up here. Come on back. There you go. There you go. Successful trip. <laughs> I'm going to put these back in here and hopefully he's watching and he'll see me dump them back in here. And there he goes, success. He's now feeding out of the feeder. <laughs> Go tell all your friends, buddy. Okay, it started. <laughs> Literally within seconds here, it has started. One chickadee comes, feeds out of my hand. I put the seeds back in the thing. He comes down. I got a shot of him. And now there's like three of them coming. So it's instantaneous. These guys, here comes another one. There he goes. 
we're on it now guys so within a day or two there will be lots of birds feeding out of here and uh, we'll have that blind and we'll come back and we'll set up that blind and we'll see what kind of shots we can get and i will be happy hilmer to take shots of the red squirrels as they come in and feed as well i saw that that's bad he just rolled in fox poop oh no it's not fox poop it's something dead it's a dead mouse go on nope nope i don't think so all right guys the light is pretty much gone um it's very hard to take photos even in this light so i'm gonna head out of here for today the squirrels there's at least three of them that have been coming in they know i don't mean them any harm and eventually they'll learn that I'm the one bringing the seeds here and putting it here. The chickadees already seem to know that because they've been following me around all afternoon. Wherever I've gone in the swamp, they're with me. And that's awesome because they do that all winter long. But I'm going to head out of here for now. Stay tuned, guys. We'll have lots more photographs up here at this spot in the upcoming episodes. And uh, once we get the blind set up, I'm excited to see if we can get the fox or fishers or weasels. Any, any more exciting exotic stuff. But for now, I guess today's episode is dedicated to... Morton Hilmer, <laughs> enjoy the squirrels. <laughs> Go for it. You can be brave. <laughs> 